Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the San Francisco 49ers fielding offers. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the breakdowns and all the updates. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Looking at the last couple of years, you've seen the San Francisco 49ers essentially go from Super Bowl to title contender. Um, and, and they've been in the playoff mix every year since. We've seen them reaching the NFC Championship game where, of course, Brock Purdy got hurt, and you're looking at what this team has in the quarterback room. Ian Rappaport for the NFL has reported that the San Francisco 49ers are fielding offers. They're listening to conversations. They're listening to phone calls for a number of teams that have been reaching out to them concerning their potential starting quarterback, Trey Lance. When you look at what they gave up, they gave out a tremendous package to move up years ago before the draft to draft Trey Lance. They wanted to take a shot at a young man that had a cannon for an arm. Didn't really play on a D1 level. Didn't really have a lot of experience, but he played uh, literally in college. And we saw glimpses of the huge arm, the cannon, the mobile ability. And then you saw him get hurt. When you're looking at, you know, Jimmy G had his bags packed last year. Jimmy G was out the door. Jimmy G didn't even have a playbook. And yet you saw exactly what happened when Trey went down. Jimmy went into backup quarterback mode. He then got hurt and Brock Purdy got his opportunity late in the season. And I don't know what it is, but San Francisco quarterbacks just seem to get hurt lately. And you're seeing exactly what goes on. Um, they have a talented roster. They have some of the most talented weapons from McCaffrey to Debo Samuel to Arouk, uh to Kittle. They have a lot of guys on that team that can make plays. And you're looking at the quarterback position being the biggest question on the team. That's tough when you got a title contending uh, offense and defense. So when you're looking at all this in a nutshell, the San Francisco 49ers will love to come off of Trey Lance and get a lot of draft capital back. But you got to think, he's damaged goods right now. The last two seasons, we've seen him have season-ending injuries. And nothing's really come to the fourth right when he's on the field. Yes, he plays good in bunches. Yes, we've seen him in spot mop-up duty do extremely well. But at this point in time, you have teams like the Minnesota Vikings. You have teams like the Houston Texans. You have teams like the Baltimore Ravens. You have teams that are looking into this saying, hmm, what potentially would you come off of Trey Lance for so a lot of times, you know, you're trying to get a first-round pick. Is there teams in the, in this draft that will possibly come up a first-round pick for Trey Lance? Possibly. Do the Houston Texans have a first-round pick that they can get rid of? They have multiple in the top 15. You know, could the Raiders take a shot at Trey Lance? Could they say, you know what, we're going to reunite these quarterbacks back with each other if the deal doesn't go through with Aaron Rodgers? Could the Jets then pivot and say, you know what, this is our guy for the next 10 years? You know, so there's a number of moves. The San Francisco 49ers have to be smart about this. They do have Sam Darnold, who is a product of USC, right in their backyard. And you got to think, he hasn't really had solid footing since he's been in the NFL. Different team head coaches, different offensive coordinators, different offensive systems. He really hasn't had stable footing throughout his career. So could this move resurrect him? We haven't seen Brock Purdy come back yet, but there is word that Brock Purdy is going to be on the men's, that he possibly could be back this season. So it's intriguing. Before the draft, you got to think, could some team fall in love with Trey Lance and say, you know what, we're going to do this and, and make him our starter? You know, with all signs leading to a quarterback hungry league, you got three guys potentially locked in to go in the top 15. And I believe that that's, uh, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, and also Richardson. But could there be a dark horse from the 49ers to get traded to send all these things into, into overdrive? I know the Texans were talking about not even taking a quarterback overall. So could they then leverage one of those picks in the top 25 to then ship it to the 49ers to possibly pick somebody and send them to the Niners? Could the Niners have them take a quarterback and then swap quarterbacks? It's a number of things that can happen. You know, so this report is damning. This report is definitely damning. And I think the Houston Texans are gearing up to not take a quarterback. I think the Houston Texans could be in the market to make a trade for a quarterback. Head coach D'Amico Ryan fell in love with Trey Lance when he was in San Francisco. He liked the kid's work ethic. He see how he worked through adversity and feels like, okay, we got the same kind of system. Let's bring the kid here. Let's see if we can help him. 
All you need is one person to fall in love with you in the NFL. That's all it takes is one team. Once that team falls in love with you, it's up to you to get the job done. So what do you think the 49ers should do? Should they keep Trey? Should they trade him? Should they fill the offers? What should they do? Get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. And we'll see you on the very next video.